Welcome, sixth graders. It's a happy Thursday. Have a happy Easter. Today, we're going to be converting metric units. Just like we converted the other day, we're going to multiply by powers of 10. We look at the zeros. You multiply, you start at that decimal, and you make the number bigger. One, two, three to the right, because there's three zeros, and the answer is 4.2. Start at the decimal, three zeros, one, two, three, spots to the right, 38,705. Number's bigger. Now when you're dividing, you do the same thing. Count the zeros, but in the opposite direction. Start at the decimal, which is right here to the right of it, one, two, three, oh, 28.039. A much smaller number. <coughs> Start at the decimal here, one, two, three spots. We have 0 0.0008, and we do have a much smaller number. Knowing the powers of 10 is very helpful, and knowing these shortcuts is very helpful. Learn to convert metric units of measure. The back page of your book will have all these conversion rates, like one kilometer is a thousand meters and so on. You can use that as a help or you can ask Siri. Now the high jumper cleared a height of 1.75 meters. How many centimeters is this? Well, 100 centimeters makes one meter. And if you look at centi, centi means 100. So we're going from something big to something smaller. We know if we remember from yesterday, big to small means whatever number I have I take and I multiply that by 1 meter makes 100 of these. Oh, I multiply by the 100 and I find out it's 175 centimeters is 1 meter. They're going to show you the logical way that they do it, a similar way to mine. All right, 1.75 meters, how many centimeters? Well, 1 equals 100, so we take 175 times the 100 centimeters to get our 175 centimeters. Now, I left a little work up here. I had been going through it to practice earlier. I'm sorry. A farmer's barrel of corn weighs 15.5 kilograms. How much weight is this in grams? I think I go from kilograms big to grams, which is much smaller. Like the one piece of bread, kilogram is like an entire, um, well that's much bigger than that, like a bag of potatoes. All right, so I think, oh, I'm going from big to small, 15.5, big to small means multiply, multiply by what number? The thousand. One, two, three, fill in those spots with zeros. So 15,500 grams is 15.5 kilograms. We watch what they do over here. They get that one kilogram is 1,000 grams. You can see that in the back of your book. So they know big to small times 1,000 and they get their 15,000 grams. Now, we're going to work, oh, showed you the answer. My, my, I must not have erased anything. All right, the CD case is 14 centimeters wide, centi. And we're going to meters. 100 centimeters makes one meter. Centi tells us there's 100 of these that make the next item. We are going from something small to something bigger. So we know we're going to divide. So we take that 14 and we divide by 100. 1, 2, 0, 0.14 is our answer, and that is much smaller than 14. We can look at and see what they do. Smaller to you, bigger, we divide. We move that decimal two places and get that item. The ball of clay. The ball of clay has a mass of four kilograms. They want to go to grams. Going from big to small means we multiply. Four times the 1,000. Four times 1,000, hopefully you can understand, is... 4,000 grams. Now we have a 0 0.8 liter bottle of water, like a two liter, but only half that. And we're gonna switch to milliliters, which is like a spoonful. 
So we are going from something big to something small. Excuse me. So we are going to multiply. 1,000 milliliters makes one liter. So we know multiply by that thousand. And we get our answer of 800 milliliters. Convert. The frame is 90 centimeters wide. And they want to know how many millimeters. A centimeter is, oh, about your pinky finger turned sideways, maybe a little less. All right. A millimeter is like a tenth of that. So we are going from something big to something smaller. So big to smaller means we multiply. How do we know the number? Well, 10 millimeters equals one centimeter. Oh, 10. 90 times 10 is going to be our 900 millimeters that we get for our answer. Remember, we're going from something big to something smaller, it's multiply. Something smaller to something bigger, it's divide. The foil pizza box has a mass of 80 grams. 80 grams, and we want to turn it into kilograms. We go from something small, a gram, one loaf of bread, to a kilogram, that like pack of potatoes. That's going from small to big, that means we divide. <clears throat> There are 1,000 grams in one kilogram. So we divide by 1,000. Start at the decimal. One, two, and three. 0 0.08. Let's see if we were right. And we are. Now, the juice box contains 0 0.4 milliliters, or liters. We're going to milliliters. Big liter, that two liter bottle a small milliliter, like a teaspoonful of water. All right, so big to small. Now we just have to figure out, oh, 1,000 milliliters, milli means 1,000, go into one liter. So we multiply by 1,000 and we get 400. Because starting at that decimal, one, two, three, fill in the two zeros, we've got our answer. These are in the back of your book. These conversion rates can be set up as fractions. So, just like I would say 12 over 12 is a 1, couldn't I say 12 inches over 1 foot? That's the same, so that would be a 1. They're going to set up problems like this. 1 kilogram over 1,000 grams is the same thing, and they're going to use that to help us convert. We'll talk about our way that we've been doing it, but this is another way that I think is good, especially when you're trying to do multiple conversions. All right? So, 16 meters to centimeters. Something bigger, and we go to something smaller. Big to small means multiply. I bet our answer is 1,600. Two zeros, so one, two, fill in those spots. That's how we got there. They will use this. Think of that as a fraction. Numerator, numerator, denominator, denominator. <gasps> Units can cross out because they're catty corner. It's reducing. And 16 times 100 is our 1,600. We have this same proportion here. That they're wanting us to use proportions. Grams. There are 1,000 grams in one kilogram. Something small, like that loaf of bread, or like that piece of bread, to kilograms, like that pack of potatoes. All right? So a 1,000 of these goes there. Small to big means we're dividing. There was 1,000 of these, three zeros, one, two, three, zero point four five. And if you want to put that zero there, it's okay, but you don't need it. It doesn't hurt anything, though. All right? They're going to put this problem in. They do this, oh, 45 grams, 1,000 grams over one. They're gonna cross multiply, and you'll see 450, we divide by 1,000, divide by 1,000, and we get 0 0.45, just like we had up there before. Here again, a conversion factor. Let's think on our level, centimeters to millimeters. Something bigger, to something smaller. Big to small means we're going to multiply. 
One centimeter equals 10 millimeters. So 4.5 times 10, move that decimal one place. Whoops. Move that decimal one place and we get 45 milliliters. Let's go ahead and see their conversion factor. See how they put that 10 above that one? 10 millimeters equals one centimeter. That's like a fancy one. All right, we do that. I always like to think of it as, oh, it's a fraction, so my units can cancel. 4.5 times 10 is 45 millimeters. 8,500 grams. Well, 8,500 grams, we're going from something small to something bigger. Division. 1,000, whoopsie, 1,000 of these equals one of these. So we divide by 1,000. Decimal is right here. 1 and 2 and 3, 8.5. All right. They do their cross products. Divide by 1,000 and you get 8.5. If you can know to do this, it is a lot easier. Thank you all for your time, and I hope you have a happy and blessed Easter. Good night.